Hey, I've come inside to get a quick drink of water and I'm going to try something different tonight for my recovery. Uh, I'm going to jump back on the treadmill and just do an easy overnight jog. Welcome back to another episode of the Fog Dog Exclusive. As some of you might have seen in last week's video, I am now back in Australia. Uh, the coronavirus has meant that I had to leave college in America to come home. As you also might have seen in last week's video, I got reported to the police for going for a run outside. The police came around to my house and confirmed that I was completely fine to run outside, uh, but I think the rules have changed. So I am now back to doing all my runs on the treadmill until my self-isolation period is over. So today I'm gonna show you my first run on the brand new treadmill that is just out there. Before we get started on the running part of the video, I have some business to take care of in the running shoe department. In case we get locked inside for months on end, I'm going to order some brand new Adidas Solar Drives. This is a shoe I have run in plenty before, and I'm also going to get a pair of Solar Boosts. I've never run in them before, but I've heard great things about them, so I will be stocked up in case we do get locked indoors for potentially months on end. The treadmill has arrived. I'm about to go for my first run on it. I'm planning an easy eight miles and a few strides. Uh, from just having a quick look at it, it actually looks really nice. We've got a good little touch screen. You can choose from a whole range of workouts uh, and it goes up to 22k an hour, which is 13.7 miles an hour. So it's going to be good for doing some strides and that kind of thing. All right, so easy eight miles. I'll round it up to 13k just because it's in the metric system. And yeah, it should be a good first run on the treadmill. is complete I ended up doing 13k at 413 pace which is equivalent to just over eight miles at 645 ish per mile now I'm gonna do two by 30 seconds on 30 seconds off at 22k an hour just to kind of stride out a bit feel a bit quicker I haven't really done too much uh, pace work recently so it'd be kind of good to move the legs a bit quicker after a nice comfortable run <laughs> Running strides are complete for the day. I've come inside to get a quick drink of water and I'm gonna try something different tonight for my recovery. Uh, I'm gonna jump back on the treadmill and just do an easy overnight jog. So we'll see you on the treadmill. Welcome. 
We're yeah. off to bed now, mate. Alright, no problem. Good night, Dad. Good night, night. See, See you. Night, Mom. ever overnight recovery jog is complete honestly that was pretty tough I probably wouldn't recommend it fog dog fog dog fog dog it's time to wake up mate you've been in there three days oh. those shoes have arrived now oh, I'm waking up my overnight jog really tired me out Yes, boys and girls, I am now up and about and my shoes have arrived. So I'm going to unbox them and give you the first look at my new solar drives and the new solar boost. So I ordered them the other day in case we get stuck inside for months. So here are the new solar drives. I actually currently have a pair exactly like this, so I've just restocked my collection so that I've got kind of plenty of mileage ready to go in my shoes. They're the solar drives and then here we have the solar boost. Now these I actually have never run in before. So this one I am looking forward to trying and that is actually pretty fresh. I don't know what you guys can see on the camera there, but they're basically black with like a metallic purpley blue kind of color there. So definitely looking forward to giving these a go. They should be good. I'm probably gonna just do easy runs and long runs in them. I might throw in a bit of tempo stuff as well. We'll see how they go. Other than that, that is it for this week's episode. Stay tuned, next Thursday is gonna be a big episode, so we'll see you then. By the way, I obviously didn't actually run overnight. I definitely wouldn't recommend doing it unless it's something you really wanna try. And I also didn't sleep for three days. So yeah, that was a joke. Anyway, see you next week. Next week. On the Fog Dog Exclusive, Fog Dog gives you an insight into what a day in his life is like in self isolation. See how Fog Dog handles a morning run, a gym session, a swim, his online classes, followed by a workout in the afternoon. I'm going to do 6x400 uh, at 20k an hour on the treadmill. See all of this and more next Thursday, April 16th, 7 pm Central Time. Right now, I um I don't have an ice bath ready, so this will have to do. Only on the Fog Dog exclusive.